Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we have a question from a woman in our community, and she asks, should I text him? Believe it or not, that's the whole question. So should I text him? Um, and so let, let's talk about when you should text them and uh, when you shouldn't text them. So let's talk about when you shouldn't text them first. Uh, one of the times when you shouldn't text them is when you're drunk. If you are drunk and you have a guy that you like, you're probably best off just not texting them at all. Just just save yourself, just save yourself the pain and, and the agony, um, and just don't text them. Uh, the second time not to text them is when you're angry at them and you want to complain. And uh, this can be very, very unattractive. Um, you know, it's it's not bad to express your feelings, but when you want to complain at him and, you know, shame him or whatever you're looking to do, it's that's really unattractive too. That's not a good time to text them. So don't do it then. The third one is uh, if he hasn't been texting you back. Now, if a guy hasn't been texting you back and you've been texting him and you've texted him multiple times and he still hasn't texted you back, it's probably just, you know, you might want to just let that one go. I, I do have some ways that you can uh, text a guy that can kind of inspire him to text you back if he hasn't been texting you, but that's not for this video. So here's when you should text him back or here's when you should text him is when you don't feel needy. So if you are feeling needy, that's probably a bad time. If you're not feeling needy and you're feeling fine and confident and good, that's probably a good time. Another good time is when he's texting you back. If there's a reciprocation of texting, that's a great time to text him. Um, when you first get numbers, you can actually text a guy immediately after he gives you his number, just saying hi or like, you know, hey, this is whatever your name is. Um, and, and that can be actually be pretty attractive. Uh, so when you've had a good date, when you just left a date and you're like, oh, I had a great time, you know, wink, smile, <laughs> that, that can be a good time to text him too. Uh, when you've had sex with them for the first time, a lot of times women wait for the guy. They're like, when's he going to text me? Um, it might just be better off to send him a text first. Um, so when you don't want to see him again, a lot of times women will just ignore guys who continuously text them and they don't want to see a guy anymore. Just tell them that you're not interested and just leave it at that. Say, stop texting me. I'm not interested. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Goodbye. And the last time to text a guy, a good scenario to text a guy, is when you need to apologize. And um, I have a mentor that used to say, you can either be right or you can have a good relationship, but not both. And so if you are in the wrong or you need to apologize, it's a great time to text a guy because that is something that he will probably appreciate a lot. So go ahead and text him at that time. So that's it for today. If you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.